All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here, and we are going to be playing some more World of Warships this time. Battleships. You guys requested it, so I've got the what was classified during World War II as a fast battleship. But I think right now, as far as CBT purposes are concerned, I'm not sure if there's going to be a fast battleship classification or if this thing is actually going to be a fast battleship in the game is going to be a little different. Regardless, it was classified a fast battleship. At least a match without Cleveland's. Dude, everyone fears the Cleveland's, especially in the smaller stuff. So let's see what we got. Oh my god. The enemy team is composed of almost entirely... One, two, three, four, five, six different St. Louis. Now those are targets I would love to engage with because quite frankly, um, against battleships, I would consider them just shell sponges, man. They're slow, they're big, they've got a lot of guns, and uh, trust me, they are a lot of fun to play with, but going up against a tier 5 battleship is not something I would enjoy doing in a St. Louis. Now, let's see... Yeah, American cruisers were named after cities, American battleships were named after states, and then, you know, carriers were named after, like, famous, you know, naval heroes, I'm pretty sure, you know, famous navy people so I want someone to pop up let's let's send out a scout plane looks like we've got some fighters and torpedo bombers sent from each of our carriers they do have a carrier advantage and technically they have a battleship advantage they have a tier 5 and a tier 4 I'd say we definitely well we have a slight cruiser advantage and a slight destroyer advantage so there's a Congo going this way now if you think about this this thing has a range of like 21 kilometers on the shells. Now those are going to be pretty close to behind him. Let's see who's the more accurate one, right? We got zero hits. You know what? Ooh, I think one hit our, you know, our tower, but it probably, I'm not sure if that's like kind of mapped in. Anyway, so enemy torpedo bombers. There's enemy dive bombers. Oh. Their independence has dive bombers as well as torpedo bombers. So let's see. I don't know. There's a St. Louis. Is he not moving? If he's not, man. I don't mind hitting him. I mean, as far as this Congo is concerned, I'm shooting at him. And then this guy's like, hey, guys. Come on. Oh, we got a hit to the Citadel. Look at that. Took him down to half health. Fantastic. You know what? I have a feeling it's going to be a good game. So we're headed for an island by looking on the minimap and seeing where, like, my, you know... All right, and we're going to go fast battleship mode till we get over there. But it looks like we got another volley to shoot at this guy who is shooting right now. And he is moving, so we are going to have to accommodate for where he's moving. I think it's right there. He's going to be moving slow and he's moving forward, so there's there's a chance if we hit in front of him, we'll hit down the length of his ship. He is turning now. I'm hoping to get one or two more good shots. Oh, man. Looks like we shot behind him. He was moving faster than we thought. See, it's, it's, it's more difficult. We just lost a cruiser? Tits, mate. Titty tit tits. But this should be a fun, fun fight over here. Enemy torpedo bombers and dive bombers. Now I'm going to hit control so I can use my mouse and then I'm going to target those torpedo bombers so if they get close to me like I can you can prioritize your anti aircraft like who do you want to shoot at so you're not shooting at fighters while there's like torpedo bombers incoming is basically a pretty cool ability. Now we're going to get looks like we only got a few batteries to bear on I want that St. Louis. I'm telling you man bullet sponges that's what we're going for. He's going to get some torpedoes shot at him. We're gonna wait till we clear this hill, the battleship, the hill, the Scout island. Returning. Scout planes returning. All right, yeah, he's moving actually pretty fast. These guys are relatively fast. We may wanna go for the Congo 17 kilometers away, out there. You know what? They've got... Oh man, it didn't lock on him, it like switched targets. Let's see how good we are. 
267 damage. Over penetration. Basically, we did not hit the citadel. So we basically overpinned. Now I'm going to slow down even more. Congo looks like he's looping away. 18 kilometers. Who's he shooting at? Someone totally different. Looks like our St. Louis. So he's kind of doing something similar. Now their independence is outside of my range, but I could turn in. Oh, here's the St. Louis I shot at. And he's like, hey, man, I thought we had a good time. You know, I think I think we should hang out more. I'm going to pop out from this island so you can shoot me. Hopefully. Hopefully he's going to do that soon. Oh, man. Lost the opportunity. Let's see. 13 seconds. Kind of going half speed. This is all guesstimation, really. So the true art to this game is being able to figure out where they're going to be and put your guns to where they hit that. And I'm definitely still learning it, especially with battleships, as you can see. I shot behind him and over him. So I think what we're going to do is turn in. Um, we've lost a number of ships, so I kind of have to play aggressively. Look at these St. Louis. You're so cute. You're so cute. And I want to shoot you. So this time I'm not going to volley fire or fire a whole salvo. I'm going to wait to see where those go. And I'm going to readjust. Now those actually might... The tits was that? Oh, it's dive bombers. Ship is on fire, but we're gonna have to put it out. So I'm gonna specifically target those. There's a St. Louis in range. Another one that's fighting out here. This one's running. So actually, I won't get another shot at this guy, probably for a while. And I'm gonna have to start turning. What's he doing? Oh, he's going that way. Anticipation. Just gotta hope. That's where he's going, man. Honestly. And this St. Louis with it, you can get about eight guns to bear. Oh, gosh. Alright, so I'm going to increase throttle because I've got enemy torpedo bombers coming in. I'm going to have to adjust. Now, they're going to be firing straight at me, so I'm hoping to only deal with one. You know what? We're going to miss them all because I think when you're, when you're shooting... Woo! When you're shooting at the uh, torpedo bombers when they're coming in, they're approach isn't as good now he's nine kilometers away those look decent come on we need good hits 1200 damage no see if we if we had hit the citadel that'd be fantastic their independence has taken huge hits looks like our torpedo bombers were concentrating on that instead battleships are fun they're just the the key you really really you really 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 have to get good this guy shooting kind of behind me all right, so we're not going to do a full salvo. We're going to fire one at a time until we hit him. And I'm going to keep... I fired a, a shortly lower each one of those. I'm really trying to hit a citadel. That was a little too far up. This St. Louis should get wrecked. And if he gets in close, I actually have secondary guns, which are passive. Unfortunately, I can't control them. I would have loved to. There's an enemy destroyer behind me, I just realized, looking on the... Alright, you know what? We're gonna use our health. This guy's kind of just shelling. He's, what, four kilometers away? About five. Wow. These things are inaccurate. Those were good. Oh, yeah. Goodbye. There we go. Sec we, we hit him with primaries, and then secondaries finished him off. So now what I'm going to do is go after this carrier. We might lose, but it doesn't look like any of them are going for our cap, at least at this point. So hopefully I can hit this carrier. I've got two forward turrets. He's not moving. Now I just need some decent accuracy. And then you know what? 4,000 hit points? That might be enough if all four of them hit and one gets a citadel shot. Short? Did it look like I was firing short? Boom! One shot was all it took. Enemy aircraft carrier Fantastic. Now, I'm pretty sure... I think, look at this Congo. He's like, Hey man, why are you killing all my friends? Because you won't fight me, sir. I challenge you to a duel. Now, I'm not sure if these guys are going to go on an attack or if you can still control them. 
I think they just randomly fly around. Now it's cool. Look at that, but you know what? Let's see, do they come in on me? Yeah, no? We're just shooting them. Nope. They did. But we what? Shot down a couple more planes? I'm about that. That's just more XP for me. Incoming shells from the enemy Congo. So it looks like we might have a duel here after all. And he is... Protecting his cap. Oh, those were not good. Those are going to be woefully, sh woefully behind him, I think. That first, uh... Okay, you know what we got to do? We have to adjust because I've got a Isokaze coming up behind me. Another plane shot down, we'll take it. If I hit this guy with one good shot, he's done. But he's got torpedoes, so he is going to be dangerous. So as long as I'm flying, or flying, as long as I'm sailing away from him, it looks like he might be firing right now. Oh shit, come on. Alright, seven kilometers. That was a good hit. Just didn't do enough damage. So I guess you could say, not necessarily the best hit. And he dropped smoke. So I'm not excited to deal with him. Oh, okay, incoming torpedo bombers? Yeah, I think he's gonna try. I don't know what he's doing, but we're shooting them down. Oh, they're they're capping our base. Looks like we have a destroyer. I really gotta hope he does something, and I hope I gotta hope these guys don't want to fight me. Looks like they do have a carrier still up. Seven seconds to target. Oh, okay, he's moving. All right, I really think I have to deal with this destroyer who's trying to sneak up on me. Shooting down all kinds of planes, man. I'm about that. They're great. Now, he fired and I guess if he's... Oh, wow. Actually... And we'll use our health, too, because we have it. Yeah, now we've got to deal with this Congo, who is gonna do better than it. Like, he's at full health. I think those... Little in front, little in front. But we damaged a turret. That's always good. I think this will pass by if I hit. I'm hitting full stop. Oh, come on. Ho oh. Wow. See, that's a good way of dealing with torpedoes, honestly, is do not be afraid to stop your momentum. It's one of the best ways, but it's one that you can forget a lot. He's turning in. So we'll do a test a test shot here. Looks like my friends are doing that was a little behind. That one's gonna be a little in front because he's adjusting. We got incoming torpedoes. So we're gonna try to get in between these. And this guy is definitely being uh, he's harassing us. He's playing he's playing smart as a destroyer. But hopefully those hit. What? We overpinned. I could load HE, but just I need to deal with this battleship. I need to be able to shoot at both of them, honestly. Oh shit. You know what? We're gonna concentrate forward firepower on this carrier here. And hopefully shoot down enough of these guys to where their torpedoes aren't very good. I think they've launched. Ooh, this is not good. I might be able to get this to just two hits. Good torpedoes, though. But you know what? I've got something for you, friend. We need to do way more damage than that, honestly. Because we're getting chased. We're gonna launch a scout plane just for fun. It's actually gonna get shot down, so may not be the best idea. One torpedo bomber's taken off. Reload rates are up. We're gonna have to convince our turrets to go this way. We want to get in close. Luckily, we had a little bit of health. So our secondaries. I'm hoping my secondaries do some work. So I gotta run from this destroyer. Run from this battleship. We were both trying to chase me. Got torpedo bombers. Torpedoes coming from the destroyers, torpedoes coming from the bombers. 
We're just trying to do the best we can, you know? Yeah, our secondaries are opening up. Look at how, look at, did you see that? We set them on fire, that's fantastic. That's what we need to do. Oh man. And we just gotta hope our secondaries can do enough damage. Our back two turrets are still turning right now. You know what, but I do wanna add, look at that, our secondaries are catching them on fire, that's fantastic. Oh, he damaged one of my turrets, it's the one in the back, that's fine. Alright, where's your citadel, friend? Man, this is tough. We really need... 17,000. Look at the second news just tipping away at him. This, this destroyer is, what, within four kilometers. We're gonna have to go full. Oh, we're on fire. Turrets damaged, but we still have 28,000 health. There it is! Thank goodness! Sunk ourselves a carrier. Oh man, it's just me? It's just me. Okay, so he's gonna be firing torpedoes. Yes, he is. We're gonna go that way. Oh man, those torpedoes are fast. You gotta love Japanese torpedoes. So we're gonna take one on the tail. Oh, there's some more. We're just getting ripped apart. But you know what? I think he made a fatal mistake. And I gotta punish him for it. Firing a little behind. I need to adjust forward. I need one of those to hit. Oh, that's not good. And he's outside of secondary range. He fired his torpedoes. This Congo's still chasing me. So it's all a matter of can I kill this guy before I die? Which is gonna be very soon. Oh, they took flood damage and I wasn't repairing it. I don't know. Alright. That should be fine, except on that second salvo, so I really gotta hit him here. Can we do it? Oh, no. Oh, this battleship behind us. Oh, I didn't press Y fast enough. I should have seen that, honestly. That's kind of on me. That's definitely on me. But 2,150 experience in a defeat. Ladies and gentlemen, sometimes you don't always win them. But I tell you what, you have a pretty damn good game. We got second place overall in a defeat. 21 planes shot down. Three warships destroyed, two of which... Or carriers. Let's see the detailed report. Who did we sink? We sank an Independence. We sank a Langley. And then we sank a poor little St. Louis cruiser. Did 70,000 damage with our primary batteries. And then our secondaries it looked like we did about 8,000. Shot down six dive bombers, 12 torpedo bombers, and three fighters. You know what? Because we don't discriminate amongst planes, we shoot them all down but I highly recommend using the control like press control and manually click on the group that you want to you know target so that was a pretty pretty fun ma uh, fun engagement honestly even in a loss I had a blast quite literally a blast because we did die we got more kills than anyone else on either team and we actually shot down far more planes so when you shoot down a lot of planes that tells you one thing First of which is there's a lot of planes around you. Since I was the only battleship on my team, kind of already under the guns because they had two battleships, one of which died, um, is we had a lot of planes dealing with us, man. Torpedo bombers galore, a destroyer, and a Congo. Fast battleship chasing us down almost the entire game. But what a thrilling engagement. 42 hits, 21 planes shot down, one critically damaged. Uh, we should have probably had a little more hits to the Citadel. I can't wait till uh, layouts. See, look at that. Actually, you can kind of see it. Below the base of turrets is a great place to look for Citadel shots. And then at the base of the middle of the ship, um, that's where you want to aim for. So it kind of hints at it even in this little picture now that I notice it. Three warships destroyed, always pretty good. So let's kind of look at the tech trees here and kind of get a feel. So I've got the Congo. Next is the Fuso. This thing is a bad, bad boy. 
It's got six twin turrets, 360 millimeter guns. And look at that, man. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, I tell you what, that thing is pretty scary. Now, when we look at the Congo, we've got 356 millimeter guns. So, the Fuso has six of them, and they're slightly bigger. Then you jump up to the Nagato. And I have seen a few of these out there, and they're pretty scary looking. But this one you drop down to four turrets, but you're dealing with 410 millimeter guns, and you just have a crap ton of secondary. So if cruisers getting close, you could pretty much wreck a cruiser probably with all these secondary guns. Let's see what this thing has. I wish it. Look, it has 22 secondary gun turrets. That's pretty ridiculous. 20 AA gun mounts, not bad. And then you go up to the Amagi. And if you've read the Destroyerman series, which is fantastic, by the way, this ship is in it. There's also the Walker, which is uh, an American destroyer that's also in it. Look, your scout plane's in the back. You've got 410 millimeter you know, guns on your turrets. This time you bump up to five, three in the rear. And I'm not really sure if it was Japanese um, doctrine, because um, most Japanese naval doctrine especially like you know as they were designing ships and stuff revolved around the fact that hey we're gonna have a smaller navy than the uh, US United States Navy this was obviously prior to the attack on Pearl Harbor which they did a pretty damn good job um, on taking out a lot of you know battleships and cruisers and stuff like that but I wonder if it's like they were since they knew they were gonna have a smaller navy I'm not really sure I really want to know this is just a theory and it's purely a theory but since they had a smaller navy, they designed a lot of ships to kind of do hit and run tactics. Now battleships can sail away, and you'd have three batteries firing behind you if you had to run for it. Actually, that kind of makes it awkward, doesn't it? If this one was raised just a little bit more, oh, you could really just fire an impressive salvo. So this one actually only at an angle, you know, could you be able to get all three of those facing the same direction now that I notice it. So, moving onwards from the Amagi, you skip tier 9 and go straight to the Yamato. 460 millimeter guns, four, or just three triple turrets. The secondary guns are ridiculous. It looks like, look at this, man. Secondary gun turrets, there's 14 secondary guns, but that includes these ones. And then look at all these little guys just like all over the place. And you got all this impressive anti-aircraft. Actually, yeah, let's... What's the anti-aircraft? 58 anti-aircraft mounts. That is just nuts. So, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you all for watching. You guys requested Battleship. Let me know what kind of ship class you'd like to see next. Um, whew, what a battle, man. It was a hard-fought battle. It was a loss, but, man, was it a brilliant defeat for our, you know, for us. So, I thank y'all for watching. Make sure to pull the trigger on the like button. Share the video with a friend. Let me know what you'd like to see me sail out next. And ladies and gentlemen, I will see you all soon.